are so silly. Wow, I was so lucky. Is it cold or does it feel good? It's kind of cold. It's really cold, actually. <laughs> Okay, baby. I love you deep on my watch. All right, watch I'm watching. Okay. That's amazing. Daddy. I can't. I cannot breathe in that one. Woo! That's what I'm drinking on. It's just a cup. Glass, I should say. Let me see, baby. Go ahead. Now I'm just gonna. This, this is called. This is called. This is called the fall in the pool wash. <laughs> what's it called, baby? Water. What, what's that move called? I'm gonna do a handstand underwater now. I'm gonna look. Huh? Watch. I'm looking, Can darling. You? Hold on. Keep it there. Okay. Three, two, one. I do not like him doing this, but he's having fun. Down there. That's enough, baby. That's uh, enough. Okay, so I'm under. I know this like millions of times with daddy. Yeah, yeah, with daddy. Look at your nose. Stuff is coming out your nose. Your nose running? We, I'm going to get something so you can blow your nose, okay? Go ahead. The ultra, this is the ultra. <laughs> oh my gosh, I should really clean it up a lot more underneath, but I'm not in the mood. Oh, hey y'all, so I finished doing a makeup video for y'all, not makeup, a skin routine video for y'all, so I think y'all like it. Um, what is that? You can see the um ladder in this reflection here so we got an email i'm working by myself this week like i said so it's kind of kind of busy but it's steady not really busy it's steady um and so one of the directors of our department sent out a email basically offering a alternative schedule for um for the summertime so basically from now don't get on the very top. Yay. Do not. Ooh, these kids. Hey, get them. Do, hold on, y'all. It's so funny. Yeah. So anyway, y'all, the um, <laughs> the director. You have to excuse me. The, the baby's playing. The director <laughs> sent out a email yeah. earlier this afternoon, yeah. basically uh, offering an alternative schedule, basically a 980 where you work nine days, 80 hours, and then you're off every other Friday. So I. You know, sent a message to my coworker. I'm like, we should do this, and I'll cover you, vice versa. She wrote back. She's like, I won't be able to do this because I would end up working too many hours. But you go ahead, and I'll, I'll make sure to cover you on the day she want to go. I'm like, girl, we out, y'all. Then let's make it. I guess she figures that if she has that Friday off, she will end up having to do more work on the following Monday. I need it, y'all. I need some time off. I I need that. That will really help me, and especially when I, once I start homeschooling in August, that will really help me with JB. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna speak to my manager. She's on vacation right now, but when she gets back, I'm gonna speak to her. And I'm I already have my ducks in a row. Look, before I approach my manager, I have solutions before. So I'm gonna. My pants are pulling down. My pants are pulling down. Okay, here I come. You okay? Bye bye, okay? How many times have we eaten these biscuits this week? 5,000 times. About. Just very, very simple. We have salt, we have flour, we have baking powder. I have a stick of butter <laughs> in, the ref in the freezer, actually, because you want to make sure that your butter and buttermilk are cold. Um, so, so measurements. 
I'm doing this based off of memory. I don't use recipes. I look at people and then I do whatever. So one teaspoon of salt, two cups of stuff rising flour, one tablespoon of bacon, pu bacon powder, one stick of very cold butter, one cup of butter. Jesus, Jesus bread. Yeah, I think it's Ezekiel bread. So anyway, this is a tablespoon. I don't know what the heck that is. A measuring device. This I don't is, know what the heck that is. It's like an alien spoon. This is a spoon. This is a tablespoon. Now I have different sizes. Here. Good morning. Thank you. I'm gonna scoop some. Just a second. No, no, no. Oh, you can you can look at it. So we have different type of measuring. So this is half of a teaspoon. This is one fourth of a teaspoon. Now this is gonna teach you a little bit about math. This is half of a teaspoon. To make a whole, are you listening, sweetheart? To make a whole, I would need two of these. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is one fourth, meaning a quarter. To make a whole, I would do have to do four of these. Does that make sense? Okay, so I need one tablespoon of bacon powder. Can you give me one tablespoon of bacon powder up here and place it in the flour? I want you to scoop it out. Now, when you're baking, it's really important that you measure off stuff. You level it off. So now, you see how it's like this? Now, hold on, hold on. I need for this to be leveled off because honestly, this right here is more than one tablespoon. So what you do is you slide the rest of that off. You see what I mean? Because that would be more than one mm -hmm. tablespoon. You see? So now I have be... now I have one tablespoon. There we go. <laughs> and the fork be so hot, it will be burning flush hot. So y'all, my butter is cold, cold. So now what I'm gonna do is cut this butter. The shape of a bee. See it? Yeah, don't care about that. See it? All right. <laughs> I gotta cut this. Honestly, if it wasn't too, too, too early, here it is. That's the brand. Mm-hmm. But when it comes, it's supposed to be. It's they to see be it but we're gonna try to lock on it. But I know that. But it just comes off like that. I'm gonna do three fourths of a cup of buttermilk and then one fourth of a Yay. cup of cream that'll give me the fat i'm looking for so now i'm cutting the butter into excuse me Edward. you really don't want to do this honestly jb i'm talking if my husband wasn't asleep i would pop this into a food processor because what's happening is my hands the warmth of my hands is melting the butter and we don't want that actually let me use two forks let me stop this and use two forks two Mommy and a little boy, her son, they're out shopping. No, no, they're in the neighborhood, they're driving around, and they see this garage sale, okay? Typical. See the garage sale, I'm flowering the, here, so I can roll out the biscuits, okay? And then they stop, and there's this old woman in a wheelchair, and it's her garage sale. It's an estate sale, and estate sell me everything gotta go. They sell me everything in the house, child. So, He's begging, mommy, mommy, can we stop? Can we just stop? And she said, oh no, sweetheart, we really gotta get to Nana's house. We don't have time. Okay, but I really just wanna stop, I promise. Okay, five minutes. So they stop, they get out, and the old grouchy woman is saying, she's saying to herself, ask the mommy, walk up towards the lawn. She hears the old woman say he finally died. Meaning the, I guess it was her husband who passed away and that's why they're having the estate sale because she's gonna go live with her kids, right? So they're going through looking at the estate sale. They see all this old stuff. Nothing is really worth anything and everything is marked really, really low. So then the little boy finds this cart. This cart, all right? It's so funny, like the TTQ. Right? And so he's like, he's looking at it, he's tinkering around. And this piques the old woman interest. Now she, she lifts her head. Cause she had her head down talking to herself. Cause she ain't gonna see now, right? So she looks at him. She's like, hey young man, uh, what are you doing? He's like, oh, I'm thinking about, you know, having my mommy buy me this car. He's like, she's like, are you sure you want this? And he's like, yeah, I, I really like old stuff and I like tinkering and stuff and so, 
well, maybe a kid your age wouldn't say tinkering. I like playing with stuff, so I, I really want my mommy, I, I really want this. I think I want my mama to buy this for me. So then the young boy's mama comes around the corner and his name is, What's his name can be? Marcus. Marcus. Marcus, what are you doing? Mama, I saw this old cart and I'm thinking about, you know, I could play with it and put all my toys in it. She's like, Marcus, you don't need another thing. So weeks go by and they notice things. <laughs> weeks go by. No, several days. Thank you. Several days go by and they notice crazy things started happening around the house weird things like strange sounds are coming from marcus room it's like a story that just you oh really okay so strange things start coming from marcus room they keep hearing voices coming from his room but when they go in there there's no one there because marcus is outside right he's outside playing with his cart so a couple more days go by and the mommy hears, this is at night, the mommy hears, um, I'm gonna flower my cup. The mommy's hear voices. So she goes into the living room and she sees her son sleepwalking, but he's pushing the cart and he's singing, Mr. Salmon, bring me a dream. She's like, Marcus. Marcus, what are you doing? God. And Marcus had never sleepwalked before, but all of a sudden now he's sleepwalking and he's pushing that creepy cart that they purchased from the estate sale a few weeks ago. So a couple more days go by and all Marcus wants to do is play with that cart. Finally, his mama was like, is that something else you could play with? Don't you want to play with? No, I don't want to play with that. And then Marcus' behavior starts getting erratic. He starts getting more angry. He starts lashing out. He cries more often for no reason. By the way, Marcus is just six years old. He cries out for no reason. Um, he starts having night terrors. And every now and then, she catches him in the middle of the night with that car. So, the day came when she heard what sounded like a man's voice coming from Marcus's room. She's like, she tries, she, she thinks to herself, should she wake up her husband? Is, is this a dream? Who could be in Marcus's room? So she, she gets up the nerve, she crawls out of bed, she walks slowly towards the room. This is, this is what a white person would do. Is this what a white person would do? <laughs> I can't stand you. <laughs> is, this, is this a white woman? <laughs> this is not a white woman. They're African. They're a black family. I can't stand you. Oh my God. So, okay. So they're walking towards the room. Some black people do investigate, JV. They're walking towards the room and she hears a man's voice, but she also hears Marcus's soft voice. And they're both singing Mr. Sandman. So she all right y'all so these biscuits are done this is what they're looking like you can see the different layers this, that maybe this is hot so I don't need you to touch anything uh, you can see the different layers like I now I pop them out a little bit sooner because they are continued to cook in this cast iron skillet um, but they're done you can see the different see the, all the flaky layers here look at that look how thick these are you can see the layers you see the bottom yeah they're done well, y'all this is my plate i'm gonna show you what these biscuits look like on the inside see that and i got a little honey butter over here that i'm gonna put in the middle of my biscuit mm -mm -mm. and i'll probably do this to just like one or two of them there we go look at that look how soft that is yes yum really good now I am a perfectionist so I've made these biscuits now JB's right about 5,000 times this is the fifth time I make the biscuits this week and this is the perfect consistency look at him he's over there eating all right and that's it that's my breakfast for this morning three biscuits with a side of strawberries I know carbs 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 Hey y'all, we're gonna be doing a, hold on. 
<laughs> What's up, YouTube? And today we're gonna be doing a mukbang. Oh, I forgot. He <laughs> yeah, I'm using this one clip for his video and my video. So he was doing his little intro. I'm sorry, baby. He's so professional. I, I can learn from Jay Z. I can learn from you, baby. All right, but make sure to smash that like button, hit that bell, and get some bells so you get notified when I when new videos. And and subscribe if you need to. Right. That's right. All right, JB, you want to tell them what we're eating? So first, I'm going to show you my food. You show so, your food, okay? Now I'm eating Texas toast from Reason Game. So you want to tell them what type it is? It's on a it's on a secret menu. <laughs> So, so, it's buttered on both sides. Oh, yeah, buttered on both sides. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta lift it up even higher. Yeah, so a couple of years ago, before all of this hoopa loopa broke out, we were eating, and y'all, we eat at Raisin Cane's a lot. And I just know, I just discovered that they have some type of Raisin Cane program, Cane Reward. I'm like, why didn't no one ever, they, they, we go there so much, we know the people there. Ah. Okay, hold on. Let me tell you this. So they do a Bob's, and so it's buttered on both sides. One of the managers managers told us about a year ago. He said, "Hey, did you know that you get you could get your toast buttered on both sides?" JB was like, "What?" I said, "Why did you tell him that? Why? Why did you? Sorry, why did you tell him that? He's already agreed." All right, y'all. Let me show y'all what I got. You know what? God works in mysterious ways. We know this. He is our provider. Provider. Uh, Jehovah Jireh because when I opened up my my box, I ordered the box combo. There's typically four. I have five Now there's they're little maybe that's why they gave me was five. Is this supposed to be on my YouTube channel? This is not gonna be on yours <laughs> I got five see how little they are, but that's okay So we're gonna save our say our grace and we both say our own little bitty grace and we're we're gonna go ahead and eat Okay, you ready baby? Yeah Put a and then you want to say your grace when you're done with that? We're going to pray. You know that. Oh my gosh. All right. You ready? <laughs> Did you say your grace? Yeah. Oh, okay. Chef. In your mind. Okay. <laughs> oh, y'all. I got me some hot sauce. Louisiana hot sauce. I know some people like Texas Pete. I don't like Texas Pete. I don't know. I like this. Now, we ain't no smacking. This is an impromptu. Mukbang. We ain't no smacking on cam. I don't like that. That's nasty. No manners. And I get some people like that. They like to see it. Look, as soon as I said that, his, his lips are popping. And we have some cane sauce. But I don't eat all my cane sauce because this is pure mayonnaise. Somebody's calling me. Hold on, y'all. Speaking of food... I'm going back and forth whether or not <clears throat> I want to cook for my birthday, our birthday, because my husband's birthday is the day after mine. If I want to cook or every or order everything out. What do you think, baby? <laughs> Nothing. Should I cook for mommy and daddy's birthday? Should I cook or just order everything from Roaring Pork? Mm, order everything from Roaring Pork. I think I will. The only thing that gets me, y'all, when I want my food good, I want my food good. <clears throat> so this place that we order drinks from like once a month, way out in Scottsdale. And so the last time I ordered some food from them, it was the bomb. But I also had my, you know, that's what I'll do. I will order, I will order, I'm gonna order a lot of food. Like they have, it's, it's based out of Austin, Texas, actually the restaurant. And so they serve Southwestern cuisine with a Southern flair. They've added fried chicken to the menu. It's like a four star restaurant, four or five star restaurant. They added fried chicken to the menu. I don't, I'm not gonna pay $15 to eat somebody else's fried chicken. Girl, that ain't happening. But they do have these banging smoked wings that they, they grill. We don't have a grill anymore, I threw it out. So, you know what, child, you're so dramatic. So, yeah, I think I'm going to order most of the food there and, like, make one side here, like, fried corn. And I'll order, like, they have this macaroni and cheese that is bomb. 
I order macaroni and cheese. They're, they're um, smoked wings and like the guacamole. We, we can get full off of that. Let me stop talking and get into this chicken. Wait a minute. Oh. I forgot I got into my food early and had a body chicken. I'm like, somebody ate my chicken. Girl, you did. You ate your chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so, y'all, I posted a couple of days ago on my Instagram pictures of cakes that I plan on making. Look, nobody can make my cake better than me. <clears throat> right, JB? He ain't even listening. So, I'm making my own birthday cake. So, right. Thank you, baby. So, my, the options were, and I asked for y'all to vote. So, the options were a buttermilk lemon blueberry cake, a chantilly cake. What was the other option? Y'all, I already forgot. Be careful, JB. Um, one of them was a, a rum key lime cake. Oh, and a pink champagne cake, right? So, I think I'm going to go ahead and make the chantilly cake. But I'm going to do... Um, a buttermilk cake from scratch. Now, I typically use a cake mix and doctor it, doctor it up, but I, of course this summer I'm gonna go ahead and make a buttermilk cake from scratch. I made this banging buttermilk vanilla cake last year. JB, do you remember that cake I made? You probably don't. I made this this cake from scratch. It was so good. Why is that? That was, there was a little disaster that happened. There was a little um, kill, something on mm. fire over here, so. Mm -mm. We just used a spit to spit them. Don't say nothing. Mm. I said nothing, child. I'm eating. JB, you eating fast. You need to slow down. Mm -mm. Maybe I'm talking too much. So look, y'all. <laughs> Season three of Dark is back. JB doesn't like the music. He, he gets scared. Jay, you know that show I watch with the scary music? Mmm. Um, when I tell you I'm confused, you know, I'm gonna talk about more of this in my chit chat. I'm so confused though. I, I'm like on, um, episode seven. I need to take notes or something. I had to go back and look at somebody's, um, refresher of season two. But I know one thing, middle Jonas, Child, he cleaned up in this one. I'm so, I'm like, I'm confused as to what year they're in. Like, when they're all together, I don't want to give us a, a lot of spoilers if you're interested in the sitcom, or excuse me, in the series. Because he's dressed like he's from the 20s and 30s. Y'all know how I feel about Middle Jonas. To the point to where I almost want to go back to season two. You know, I may need to go back and watch all of season two again. But he was dirty. He was dirty traveling Jonas in season two. But he cleaned up for this this season. And yes, but I'm confused, child. Like I said, seven episodes in, I have no idea what's going on. I think I need to stop what I'm doing and go back and rewatch it. Dark is one of those type of series to where you have to watch every episode from beginning to end. You can't skip around. You will be confused because it's it's a um, series about time traveling and loops. L literally, it's a loop. So if you skip an episode, oh, you're done. You got to start all over. <laughs> hmm. One of them just died and came back as a robot, and the, and then and then one it's of them a Lego basically, cartoon. basically just. One just basically, I think, die and then just turn, like, like. <laughs> Last night, I started watching Thousand Pound Sisters. They are so funny to me, y'all. They are really funny. But, um, two sisters from Kentucky trying to lose weight so that they can get gastric bypass surgery, okay? <clears throat> and they're they're big, they're both big women. Amy and Tammy. Thank you very much for, for trying to make this up with them. And they have YouTube channels. They were actually YouTubers before all this happened. Um, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but there is a sector can there. Can I them a piece of fat right here? No. I don't know what you want to call this. It's like a subcategory within a category. You have mukbang, which we're doing now, but then you have 
uh, morbidly obese, <coughs> morbidly obese people who mukbang and feeders like to watch them. Now, a feeder is someone who encourages the fatness. Basically, they like the they want the person fat. It's a very toxic relationship. A lot of a lot of these women end up marrying feeders. Um, they have huge channels. They have huge followings. And I don't know, the, the energy of their channels is totally different now. And I know it's because of the coronavirus. I think they... I'm getting full, y'all. I can't eat all this. Like, this is a lot of food. I literally said the T word in one of my videos. And I had to edit it out. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's the curse word of saying boobs. Basically. The curse word of saying boobs. Lord have mercy. I already, I already, I already told them that story, baby. So it's just boobies. It's not the other word, like similar to teddy bears. Yeah. <laughs> I'm organizing my hair products. I've been keeping the good molecules in these cute little boxes. To hell with these boxes now, child. I'm I'm over it. They're going in the trash. That I kept them for like almost two dang on months. I don't know why. So now it's just mm -mm. all the boxes. Girl, bye. <laughs> hey y'all, hold on. <laughs> I listen to my ratchet music when JB's not in here. He's outside in full mic with my husband, y'all, this is what my hair is looking like. I did a hair makeup video. I'm about to cook, listen to my crunk music. Y'all have. Now, it's also made with a red sauce, but the red sauce is tomato based. And I